Good morning guys, it's Nero's first birthday, so I thought I'd bring him out nice and early, let him watch the sunrise with me, so hopefully it's going to be a really nice walk this morning. <laughs> Drone up in the sky, hoping to catch the sunrise. Just want to try and put a really nice uh, little video together for his birthday. You know, it's his, uh, it's a big thing for us. His first birthday, obviously for you guys too. We've been following him this first year, so uh, I hope you enjoy what we try and put together and uh, send him a message, man. Wish him happy birthday. We're all stoked for him. Come on guys! <sharp inhale> Whistle's not working this morning. Okay, like I said, Nero's won today. And I'm gonna give you 10 good reasons why you should have a Cane Corso. Reason number one. So from the minute he come out of the van, when he was delivered to me, the second hour I was met, the bond was formed. And these, these dogs form such a strong bond with you so quickly. It's, uh, it's not like anything else I've known, so um, yeah, that's reason number one. The bond that you get from these dogs is next level. It's almost human-like. Nero, come here. Hey, come on. Yeah, reason number one, the bond, the loving bond. It's uh, next level. It's been just a pleasure to be around him since day one. Reason number two, the loyalty and love these dogs show you is off the chain. I've never known anything like it. Again, he's just there. He follows me everywhere I go and he just wants to be with you, wants to touch you. He's just, just a, again, a pleasure to be around. He's uh, changed my life in so many ways. And uh, yeah, I love him dearly. So uh, love and loyalty, guys. If you want a dog that will love you unconditionally from the day you get him or her, then get yourselves a Cane Corso because uh, you'll never experience anything like it. Reason number three, the character of these dogs. They've got such a big character and such a big personality that... Uh, it's, it's, like, it's like having a, another human in the house sometimes. I mean, he can be annoying, he can be funny, he can be uh, he's silly, he's goofy. He's also protective. He's also got that side that can stand up and, you know, put the fear of God into you. If you, uh, if you ask him for it. So, yeah, character of these dogs is absolutely fantastic. I couldn't recommend one enough. You know, as long as, long as you can um, look after it and, you know, you set up, ready to go and you've done your research, you'll have a fantastic time. Reason number four. Okay, the guardian instinct to these dogs. The guardian instinct is second to none. Second to none. Somebody walks up the path, he's up. He's up and he's down them stairs, he's by the door, before the other dogs have even heard him. 
or her, whoever it is coming up the path. He has to go and have a look. He can't just, you know, what was that? He's up and he's down and he's checking it out. And once he's happy, he'll come straight back up and sit back down. But he will not rest until he finds out what it, that noise was. So, uh, as a guard, I mean, he's only one now and uh, it's already showing. They reckon 18 months it, it kicks in permanently and uh, steps up, you know. So, um, we're looking forward to that. But we've, we've trained him every day, as you all know. So I'm trying to keep him as nice as possible. I don't want an aggressive, nasty dog. So, um, yeah, that, that guardian breed, that guardian instinct. Really, really strong in these dogs. I mean, look, he's scoping out now, something. And that, that look is just, you know, it's just intimidating. So, uh, yeah, people have been mad to come round and try and burgle your house when you've got something like that protecting it. And he's only going to get bigger and stronger and more of a guardian instinct. So, yeah, guardian instinct, guys, second to none. Reason number five. So if you're lucky enough to get one that's bred for temperament and quality, like Nero is, then you'll, um, you'll just see how proud he'll make you everywhere you go. Everywhere you take him, whether it be in the street, in the pub, anywhere, people come up to you, oh, what a lovely dog, and, you know, he's really good round other people. Boost, shush. He's really good round other people and other dogs. He's super friendly. And, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he just makes me really proud everywhere I take him. Because he, uh, well, look at him. People are in awe of him. Yeah, so you get one of these and you train them up right and you put the work in and uh, the results you get are next level. Next level, absolutely next level. And I wouldn't change this book guy for the world. Nor you, silly bean. Uh, nor the boosh. There's the boosh. World's prettiest Staffordshire Bull Terrier right there. Yeah. He makes me so proud. He really does. Such a cool dude. Reason number six. So the training. Real good fun to train these guys. They're, they're super responsive. They're really easy to train. They're mischievous. <laughs> Slow down, Nero. Don't hurt yourself. She don't take no messing off of him. No messing at all. <laughs> so yeah, you're training. Training's really good fun with these guys. Reason number seven. Security and protection. These dogs will die for you. And uh, anybody would be mad to try and break into your house if one of these were roaming around. So yeah, they certainly make you feel safe and protected. And uh, I mean, he's only a baby at the minute, so once he's fully grown, I should imagine that anything that would get past him. So yeah, if you uh, if you want good security and a uh, good protection dog, I mean, you can train these up as well to be full attack dogs. And uh, they pick that up really quick, I should imagine. So uh, yeah, get a canic also, because they are uh, top draw for it, top line. It's like having a, uh, Having your own bodyguard, basically. Reason number eight. The different relationships a Cane Corso will build up with every individual member of your family. It has a different relationship and acts different around every individual member of your family, from my mum and dad to me, my partner, anybody really that he knows you know, and interacts with regularly. He has a different relationship with and he acts different round. All, all in a good way. 
Well, that's, that's really interesting the way they form a bond with more than just one person. It's, uh, it's quite nice to see, really, and uh, he makes everybody feel special, you know. Reason number nine great round kids and uh, he's really soft around old age people and and uh, yeah he's just like caring and considerate he's not always like a bull in a china shop he plays rough house with me but he doesn't do it with anybody else yeah stunning dog they're a really good companion dog you know, they never want to leave your side. So if you're looking for, you know, say if you're retired or you've got all the time in the world and you want to put all your time into a dog, this will not leave your side ever. You know? And, uh, yeah, they, they get into your feelings and all sorts. So, uh, yeah, really good companion dog. And reason number 10. So to round up, you've got a good protection dog, good guardian instinct, good companion dog, great with the family, great with your friends, bad with outsiders that aren't supposed to be there and they're well capable of making their own minds up on who's supposed to be there and who isn't, so they're not just aggressive to everyone. Great round children, old people, pleasure to be around, great personality, awesome and easy to train why wouldn't you get a can of course so i hope you've enjoyed the video please remember to like share and subscribe and uh hit that bell for notifications on next videos that are coming out and uh happy birthday nero really glad you joined us and uh, have a great day guys